All right, boys, listen up. Usually I have a good plan on what I'm gonna do for the video, but today, honestly, I'm kind of clueless just because Sam and I, we were supposed to go riding today through some trails. We were supposed to hit some jumps. Sadly, that's not gonna happen because it was starting to rain. So the first thing that I wanna do is I just wanna go over and I wanna redo that oil pan because obviously yesterday's video, I messed it up a little, almost lost it there, and I need to fix that. Everyone makes mistakes. Hopefully, you guys, darn it! Speaking of mistakes, I just messed up there. Anyways, I wanna do that before anything just so that engine can be done and out of the way so we can actually start to go look at the GTR because I do have some updates for you guys today but before any of that today's video is sponsored by NordVPN if you can just give them a few minutes of your time that would be great without sponsors I wouldn't be able to do what I do now like they taught me how to juggle kinda so please before this video gets started just give them a few minutes because honestly like I said without them we couldn't do build do anything without our sponsors so check it out dude what? I made it. Oh, it went in the box? Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. What is NordVPN, you ask? Better question would be, what isn't NordVPN? If you use the internet often, then Nord is a must-have if you want to feel safe. With over 5,500 super fast servers in 60 different countries and no data logging, what you search on the internet will be 100% hidden. But not only does NordVPN hide you from hackers and has a built-in ad blocker which protects you from malicious ads that install viruses, there's also some great features as well. With a subscription, you can link up to six devices at once. It protects all the data on your phone, or your laptop, or whatever you may be using when you're out traveling or just at your local coffee shop. And to top it all, you can unlock your Netflix to be able to watch anything in any country. Here's a real life situation with someone using NordVPN. So here we have my favorite Austinese that uses NordVPN. Can you yep. tell me a little about your experience with them? Yep, so NordVPN is great, super easy to use. I use it on all my devices. The main reason why I love it is because in Japan, I'm a big anime fan, but a lot of the online services for that prevent you from being able to watch in Japan because they don't have the licensing for it. So I just, you know, jump on NordVPN, say I'm in the USA, and then all of a sudden, I can watch it all. NordVPN offers so much for the price, it's unreal. 24-7 customer support, double data encryption to keep you anonymous, and it even works in China. I say give this a try and see how you like it. And if you're not 100% satisfied, they even offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. That's how confident NordVPN is that you are gonna love this product. So I don't know what you're doing. Go down in the description below, download NordVPN with my coupon code right now and get on it. I'm telling you, do this right now. You get 70% off if you use my coupon code right now. $3.49 a month to be safe from everything. I don't know what else I have to say, but just know if you buy this, you will not be sorry because you, my friend, will be safe. I want to thank NordVPN one more time for sponsoring this video and let's get on with it. So guys, I am so pumped. I'm not going to lie, all day I have been procrastinating because like, I just didn't want to do the oil pan. I know it's easy, but like the fact that I had to do it twice yesterday and still it wasn't done, I just didn't want to touch it anymore. I go over here, Sam, he spent the morning doing it for me, dude. What the hell? Check out his video if you want to see it, but um, he brought this to Harvey, he welded up the bung right there where I <laughs> messed up and we did it to the intake side and he actually did it to the right side. We were gonna do the one six pan, mm. but so you tried to do that first. Yeah, that was the first thing I did look. I got that perfectly lined up and you can see just how much longer the 180 is. Oh my God, yeah. it's so much longer. Yeah, it's like almost two inches longer. Holy crap, yeah. so we would, we could never use that anyways. No, you'd never be able to use a 1.6 pan on a 1.8. Well, now you know. Yeah. This is sick, dude. So, I guess the engine's done for now. Like I said, the only thing we need is the front covers, which we need to take a ride to Treasure Co soon. Yeah, we do. I really want to go there. But um, yeah, they're gonna have all that front stuff, hopefully, and then we can just button this thing up. But hey, man, I guess she's done for the day. Hell yeah, let's go look at the GTR. All right, guys, so I'm at the body shop right now, so I figured I'd give you a little update. They already started working on the GTR. So we actually had some mixed emotions down in the comments yesterday. 50% of you said, yes, let's go with the side skirts. 50% of you said, no, leave it how it is. It looks great. I mean, no matter what, at the end of the day, these side skirts, if I don't like them, they can be temporary. Um, they're just gonna be double-sided taped, and there's gonna be screws right there in the factory position and behind as well, so it's not that big of a deal. At the end of the day, I'm just gonna have painted side skirts, but as you can see, Gabe already took off the stock side skirts, and I'm really pumped because this was a grade R. That's what, the, that's the lowest grade. Yeah, it just means it repaired. Yeah, it means it was crashed and repaired, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's just normally that's where you 
find the bad one. So you can find a grade R that's actually a 4.5 that just had a tiny little like accident where they replaced the vendor. Exactly. And the reason why I got the grade R because one, it was a lot cheaper and two, I got to see like the sheet and the paperwork and in Japan, before they go to the auction, they have to mark everything wrong with the car and everything. And it wasn't too bad, but as you can see the rocker panel, it has zero rust, zero damage, which I am super, super pumped on for a really old car. This is really nice. So what Gabe's doing right now is he's just grinding off all of the leftover double-sided tape with this fancy thing. And I think they're gonna start to test fit the side skirts today, which I'm pretty pumped about. And I'm really excited to get this car back. Our fitment game's a bit weak, but it's all right. All right guys, so before this video gets any further, I just wanna give you one last update on the GTR before this thing is finally done. They already mocked up the side skirt and stuff. And the reason why I wanna film this is because exactly what Tommy said yesterday is these things aren't just throw it on and go. You guys actually had to cut a lot of material off. Yes, we had to trim off the insides and your doors were actually touching. So we had to shave this back to here and make the body line in order to make it work so we could tape it up. So I left one off so we could actually show you. And you guys had to like mold all of this and everything. Correct, so inevitably, this was part of the additional piece that sat out to here. Now we trimmed that off so we could sit it flat. This sits flush and it'll be able to put tape underneath. See what I mean by building up the back? This is a repair because it's too flexible and it would crack. Okay. So this is what I mean when I say you gotta do some body work or repair work to it prior to doing anything. Mm -hmm. Once it's mocked up, you put it on, obviously you have to sand it, fit it, build this up some more. This is just enough for us to see if we could tape. Now, I had to custom buy some brackets, which I bought a bunch of metal. At this point, I don't know where it is. Okay. <laughs> it's the end of the day, we've set it everywhere. Um, just to make it smooth enough, so when we paint, we'll actually build this up, it'll be smooth, we'll paint, we'll clear it. And that way the tape has something to grab. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah. can't tape the back of unfinished. Because it'll just come off doesn't give it a good surface, leaves air pockets. So even gel coat, when you buy this composite or fiberglass, just so everybody understands, this is a gel coating. This is your actual fiberglass. That okay. is gel coat. Look how much gel coat's on it. Now, if you don't trim it, oh my God. that's your gel coat. Holy, that's thing. a lot. Right, so a lot of your kits have to be sanded and made, and they do this on purpose, so when I sand it, I could sand off what you need to make it fit or mold a little better. Not all cars are perfectly straight, depending on who worked on it. Mm -hmm. um, so this is kind of important where someone professional comes in, or at least get advice. Everybody has a friend, a neighbor, or someone who does this. Mm -hmm. Just ask. Yeah. Most of us would rather you do it right than it come to my shop because it was done wrong and have to try to fix it. For sure. Do you think if we didn't cut that off, it would have cracked over time from the door Absolutely. hitting it? So, Absolutely. and it would have shaved your paint on your door and it would have caused problems within the internal. Cause I mean, look, see now that it's off everybody, these are the natural holes in the body lines. Now you see here, this barely fits. Yeah. So by the time you put it in over the door and close it, how many times before it rubs? No, for sure. So, and you guys just noticed that right away. So you just caught it. I knew it right away. Yeah. That's why yesterday when I put it in, now both back sides are sitting here rubbing. So it sat up here. This is the trim piece we cut off. We shaved all this off because this had a lip that came in. It's supposed to sit in here. This kit was meant to be molded. So it, they wanted you to mold it to the car. This was a moldable kit. So Jay, Josh, when he did this, Mr. Josh Murray, um, when he actually picked this kit, he had specced it and from different kits. Mm -hmm. So the aggression with the rear spats and he thought it would be good, so go this way. So this was uh, molded and that was a bolt on. Wow, okay. So they expect you to make this like a permanent solution. Absolutely. Which I hate, I would never want to do that in my life. As I was, as, as someone thought, which I clarified, you never, never do the buildup on the car. Always, always. The cheapest and easiest thing to work on would be the kit. Always work on the kit, always work on the kit, and always work on the kit. Never ruin a car to make the car fit the kit. For sure, because you guys are molding the um, kit instead of the car, so if I ever want to take it off, I can go back to the OEM factory stuff. Uh, hypothetically speaking, you go to Tire Kingdom, which I know you don't, but mm -hmm. you go to Tire Kingdom, I'm speaking for the everyday person. Mm -hmm. They put a jack under and crack it. You want to change it, now what? You're hot. You gotta fix it, because it's part of the car now. Right, so it's easier to not build the car, 
build the kit. Yeah, no, but this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. Once again, it's like, it's a 50-50 split in the comments right now. A lot of you love it, a lot of you hate it, but I know at the end of the day, like I hated the spats when they weren't the same color of the car. I have faith that this is gonna look good. And like I said, man, even if it doesn't, we still have the perfect OEM um, N1 side skirt, so it's not that big of a deal. And the only thing that we're gonna have to do, I think what I might do is I'm probably gonna keep these wheels for a little longer. I'm gonna try to get a beefier tire with this setup instead. Um, we're gonna put 20 mil spacers all around to see if we can kind of push it out a little bit, but I just don't love the rubber band look. And please, when you do this, cause he's gonna do this, he's already talked to me about rolling the fenders and don't just grab a fender and pull it out. Yeah, no, you know, sure. It's sometimes a nightmare to get back to what you want. So a lot of times, you know, this one's already been pulled a little bit or pushed out a little bit from the actual rim. Yeah, the hit. you can see it right there. You know, so we're gonna push it back in and, and, and smooth it out, basically roll it or bend it. If you have to, you could take a grinder, you know, a three inch grind wheel and just put a little line. So when you put the roller, you could bend it easier. Yeah. Some of this metal, it's 30 years old. And it's just gonna chip and crack and then you have to do a full paint job. <laughs> <laughs> or let it sit in the sun most of the day. Yeah. And then at the end of the day, kind of do it while it's still hot. So mm -hmm. the paint's still soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you always do your best. Because, I mean, like I explained to you and I explained to everybody, the back's obviously fresh or clear. So it has less of a chance of breaking when I do this. But For sure. Front, yeah, we, we are going to be rolling the fenders as well, like he said, because I want to get a beefier tire set up. And if we get a beefier tire set up and I do 20 mil spacers, it's going to end up rubbing. So after they um, roll the fenders and everything, everything is going to be good. But I just wanted to give you guys one last update and show you guys what the side skirt lo kind of looks like fitted onto the car before it's painted and everything. So you guys can talk your smack and um, some of you can say that you love it. Some of you can say you hate it. Can I give everybody an update on, on, on the R32? Sure. Everybody, I, I want to appreciate the love and, the, and and just the community came together and I guess everybody decided to give A and B a handful. He has officially wired Josh money. To buy a whole new car. He wired him whatever the agreement was. I wasn't involved in that. I just felt for Josh knowing the true story behind it. But Josh it. is happy. Josh That's is all happy. that matters. He had actually texted me today to, the, he made the wire. A and B, big shout out to you guys, your spirit of the 90s for making it right. Um, you know, there's nothing I can say. That says say. a lot about a business. You know, they, they came through. I don't know what their history or what their story was. I don't know where it came from, but I can tell you this, not every business will come make it correct. Not everybody believes in it. And this is a small community. Believe mm -hmm. it or not, we're a big community, but we're a small community. So for everybody to have come together on Josh's behalf, big shout out to you guys. Hell yeah. And what do you think, Chris? Should I try to do a channel? If you want, sure. <laughs> How many people you think I get to follow me prior to me Funding content. Let's find out. It's going to be in the description below. Yeah. We'll see how many. What are you at? You're at 300 right now. 13. We're at 313. Let's get him to 2,000 tonight. Let's, Let's see, see what it. We can do. Yeah. <laughs> All right, boys, so I'm not gonna lie, a lot of procrastination has been happening today, but that's okay, because you know why? Uh, me and Jack, we have been looking for a world record to beat. For some reason, I'm a very spontaneous guy. I don't know if you knew that by now, but when I think of something I wanna do, I wanna do it like right away. So I've been thinking of a world record to beat. The first one that I thought of was juggling. The longest consecutive juggling in the world is 12 hours and five minutes. I can only get up to 40 seconds, so that's not happening. So I looked up the easiest Guinness World Record record challenges to be and the one that I came up with is the saltine challenge all right we need to eat more than 10 saltines in 60 seconds and you can only eat one at a time and you have to swallow it whole before eating another one and you can't have any water so I'm on my way to buy some saltines I'm sorry if this is not what you want to see but I'm just into breaking a world record today so that's exactly what I'm gonna do this is what my YouTube channel is about it's about my life and what I want to do and today I want to eat some damn saltines Tommy just got back from Home Depot. He, they had to get some brackets to, for the GTR and stuff. So we're gonna go talk about that right now. I think Tommy's gonna be down with this. I think he's gonna wanna try the world record for sure. You down to try a world record with me today? What's the world record? Most saltines in under a minute. The record is 10. We're gonna you can only do one at a time. You have to swallow it whole first to eat the next one. You only have to have one saltine every six seconds. I'm gonna go buy him right now. Go buy him. You, you down to try it? Like <laughs> Let's tell him talk about the GTR quick yeah, first. Yeah, well, you wanna do it when you get back? 
Sure. Yeah, let's we'll do that. Salt teams, and I even got a cousin here that's more than welcome to try it. Dude, <laughs> we're all gonna give it a go, man. I'm down to try. Yeah. We I'll gotta beat a world record. That's it. One of us gotta try. Hell yeah, let's do it. Oh Jesus, people from New Jersey are right there. Let's get out of here. I'm pretty upset. I forgot my mask, and everyone's wearing a mask right now. I don't even know if I'm gonna be allowed in here. I'm just trying to buy some saltines, man. I don't even know where to get saltines. I'm at the grocery store. I think like saltines are for like old people. I think. I don't know. Who throw down the comments to eat saltines because I haven't had those in years. See that right there, baby? Crackers. Saltines, baby. Where you at? Heck yeah, man. Original saltines right here. I'm gonna buy a couple boxes of these because I'm gonna get a lot of people to try it. Got the saltines. I think Mark is taking a dump. Marcus Parks, Yo. are you ready to be a winner? What? Dude, you're about to be a world record holder. What? Saltines, baby. You like salt? <laughs> I think he's taking a dump right now. You taking a dump? I am. I'm coming out. <laughs> you were totally just on your phone. Marcus Parks is ready, dude. I was just deleting footage. You're already opening the box. I, I like saltines. So you know, it's, oh good. So you're gonna do it. Let's go in the office real quick. You got this, man. You're gonna be the first guy to try it. Hold on, man. Let me, let me get some water for afterwards. Okay, you can't have it during the challenge. Yeah, that's fine. How many is the, how many is it? So this is the record. You need to have 10 saltines in under a minute, but you can only chew one at a time. So you have to chew one, swallow it, show me that you have nothing in your mouth, and then you can go for the next one. You need to have one saltine every six seconds to beat the record. Well, to tie the record. You think you can do this? Maybe. We're gonna get 10 on the table right now or we're gonna find out. It's fine, Corona, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. It doesn't seem that hard, right? really doesn't. It until, does. Until it's a really dry. <laughs> yeah. so just get the water ready just in case you choke. Yeah, before. You're going to lubricate the mouth. I respect that. Get all moist in there. <laughs> Don't spit it out now. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave it open. So remember the important rule. One at a time, you have to. What are you doing? Dude? You got to get ready. You gotta get You're prepared. massaging your cheeks. You got to chew really quick. You chew, chew. You have to show me after every one or it doesn't count. This is gonna, it's not, we're not gonna make the record then. Well, yeah, that's the record. That's part of the challenge. I wanna see this first guy do it. Well, I don't have the video. I just have it on the world record. Are you ready for this? Yeah, pause it though. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Marcus Parks is ready, dude. You are about to officially be a part of the Guinness Book World Records if you can finish all 11 in under 60 seconds. Are you ready? I guess. All right, so when I say go, you can touch. All right. Is that how it goes? That's how we're going because we want this to be as fair as possible. Ready? On your marks, get set, go. Here we go. First chip, dude, or salty. <laughs> dude, you're, you're already seven seconds. Let's go, dude. We're dry. <laughs> Come on. Oh, no. All right, one, one, one. <laughs> no, I'm making it. <laughs> gonna work dude I'm I can't stop I'm sorry don't hit you <laughs> if this isn't funny I don't know what is this is great come on come on three three come on come on we have 48 seconds dude <laughs> oh shit this is a lot harder. All right, yeah, time. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four. So you had, you are on your fifth one right there. I don't even do it. <laughs> it's really hard not to laugh because it's too fast. I don't know, man, I get pretty serious. All right, hold this. We're just gonna get right into this. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You ready for this, dude? World record right here. I think I could do the powdered donut thing. The powdered donut. You couldn't even do five salt if you think you do powdered donuts. Yeah. Whatever, dude. You gotta hold this and it's gotta show on the camera and that. 
So we're gonna reset? Yeah, reset. One, two, three, go. Yeah, it's not that hard. It's not that easy, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is hard. Yeah. Move up. 28. expecting at all. What do you think we're gonna get close? I thought I was gonna get it, but no. actually I don't remember these being so dry. These are fucking dry dude. You think how many hot dogs do you think you'd eat in one minute? Funny story about that. Cam used to take a whole hot dog and put it down his throat. Shove it down his throat dude. One time he was like trying to like do them really fast. He got one down, got two down. <laughs> Third one gets down, right? Gets Dude, I remember it exactly. It was in Brendan's like front yard, like in the road, and he started choking. Brendan was like, "This fucking <laughs> whole hot dog, dude, flies out of his mouth. Funniest thing in the world." Anyways, that's the saltine challenge. I'm gonna have Sam and um, Tommy who, try it. Yeah, you know who might actually get is Tommy. Yeah, I'm a bit discouraged now. I don't think anyone's gonna be able to get it, but keep moving all right so I'm not gonna lie I'm getting a little sad here because all I wanted to do today was beat a world record I know it's super random and super out of the blue but like I just I just want me or one of my friends to be part of the world record book so we got Sam here Sam is willing to try the saltine challenge we doing this or what you, you already know the rules right the rules, so, so just try to like when you show me just have the next cracker ready, dude. You have to get this, man. Because if you don't get it, then Tommy has to. Oh, this is this is all you, my friend. I don't know if it's gonna be doable, but let's try. Are you ready? And mm -hmm. on go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, dude? <laughs> you got this, man. Swallow it. Come on. Yes, go, go, go. Not bad. You're making good time. Get that one down. Oh, boy. Swallow it, swallow it. Mm. It won't go down. Yeah. <laughs> good, 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 good. Dude, you have 30 seconds, come on. You gotta get the rest down. It's so frustrating. It's impossible. Yes, yes. You got this, dude. You got 13 more seconds. Get, get this one down at least. Come on. Come on, go, 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 go. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it is time. <laughs> so, the one, two, three, four, five. Dude, you tied me. It's impossible. It's so dry. It's in, like, you don't even think they would be that dry, right? <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> When I was in school in Australia, we used to do this challenge, but with wheat bix, like dry wheat bix, okay. which is like a cereal, and it's like a, a block this big of dry wheat. <laughs> is it good? Um, with milk and sugar, it's great. Yeah. But like eating them like that, it's just like that. But just imagine them all stacked. Dude, it's like it like sticks to your mouth. Oh, it's bad. It's and really then, like, bad. If you inhale, it goes down your lungs. <laughs> yeah. It's bad. My question is, how many saltines can you fit in your mouth? <laughs> Probably all of these. <laughs> you think so? Uh, I, I mean, this is gonna be bad. I'm gonna need a drink after this. <laughs> Take them all if you're gonna do it. <laughs> Here we got more, man. Are we really doing this? All of it. Like just, just like this, like. Yeah. You don't. You can fit all those. You're not gonna be able to swallow that. I'll be. I won't be able to swallow it. I you, can fit it in. I no, you gotta, you gotta swallow it. <laughs> you gotta chew it and everything. No, dude, just give it a go. Wait, how many is it? Did you count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> 
You're going for them all. 11. The world record. It's all teen world record right here. I wonder if you can get this on under a minute. No way. No. Dude, I'm going to gag and die. Go ahead. <laughs> what the hell? Dude. It's not working. Dude. It's not working. <laughs> that actually hurt. <laughs> Are you right? I like no, crying. I am crying. Can the camera look at just how much he's crying? <laughs> I'm literally crying. I mean, I like salty and crackers, but. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Dude, come on, me! Oh, my heart hurts. <laughs> Dude, just say it, don't spray it. <laughs> You're right. So 11's no good. Is it really that bad? It's like the cinnamon challenge. <laughs> it draws all the moisture out of your mouth. So 11's impossible, huh? Mm. I'm gonna grab 11, I'm trying it. Just get your mouth, you know, nice and moist, right? I don't know if you can physically fit this in your mouth. Like... <laughs> She's a girthy boy. There's a lot of innuendos in this video. You got another 11? Yeah, th <laughs> this video is so <laughs> Just having fun, right? All right. It's a day in the life of the saltine world. No! Whoa! Start chewing though. That's gonna, <laughs> that's gonna. Oh. <laughs> you can't even move. <laughs> <laughs> Do you regret that? <laughs> it's dangerous, right? Have you ever done the, the cinnamon challenge? Mm -mm. Did you buy some cinnamon? We should have done that too. Is that harder? I think it's like it's what is it, a teaspoon of, of cinnamon? Or is it a tablespoon? Uh -huh. It wasn't that bad, it's okay. It's bad though, right? Dude, like, because they were in my gums. Yeah. I was trying to push down my gums. Yeah. It's impossible. Well, guys, we suck. I don't know. All right, boys, so we got one final challenge for the night. We got Tommy. We got Tommy's cousin right now. They're going to try the world record for the saltine. Honestly, man, no one's been able to do it. We all have gotten five. So you guys have to at least beat five, all right? All right. I already talked about the rules and everything. You're ready? ready. You're ready? ready? On go. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. And we're off. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. You just got to swallow it. That's the only thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, dude. It's not even. Oh, you're on your second one. Here we go. Dude, you're on track. You can get this. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> He's ready. He's on his second. He's about to be on his third. You're falling behind. There it is, the third. You got to get that one down quick if you want it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. He's grabbing the fourth chip. Here we go. How you doing over here? I want to do it, dude. I want to eat it fast. <laughs> oh, yes. And Tommy is swallowing his chip before he goes on to the next saltine. Here we go. <laughs> I don't think you guys are going to get it. You only have 16 seconds. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, he's losing it. He's losing it. Huh? Yeah. And here we go. It's about to be over. And that's it, man. You had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, saltines left, and you had six. So you had five as well. You're tied with me and Sam. And I'm sorry, but you're the loser, man. Well, so someone gotta lose. Someone's gotta lose, man. But I will say this, this video is 100% all over the place and for some reason I just wanted to try to break a world record today. Sorry if it wasn't the best video, but I personally had fun filming it. It was a pretty fun day for me, so hopefully that came across on camera. But if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Don't worry, tomorrow we're going to have much more co car content. We're going to be working on the SR20 Roadster as well, so definitely get pumped for that and I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye everyone. Bye everyone. Peace. Have a good night.